Hey everyone, have a hi here, be another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing the upcoming Dokkan Festival exclusive baby. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So if you haven't seen or you haven't heard that we have official leaks, and when I say official leaks, that's when the French data miners, in this case, I seriously, ends up actually tweeting a picture out saying, yeah, and that is good enough for the entire community to know that yes, the next Dokkan Festival exclusive unit right before Worldwide Celebration is going to be a baby. Now, in this case scenario, the picture is a picture of the baby Vegeta, now, the details on that, like what form of baby it's going to be, it's still unknown. Um, so I'll talk about the different variations uh, in a bit, but we know now, since this is the Dokkan Festival exclusive before the Worldwide Celebration, we know that the Worldwide Celebration will be GT themed in a sense. We're now hoping and uh, very excited to start speculating more that it's Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shenron as the LR Dokkan Festival exclusives for that celebration. So anyway, talking about the forms of baby, as you can see here, we have the you know baby youth form, uh, baby Vegeta, uh, Super Baby 1, 2, and Super Baby 2 Giant ape so those are your forms that we have here and I, I really i think most people are assuming that it's going to be a baby vegeta to start off with or that's going to be the dokkan festival exclusive and of course that makes sense i am going to kind of go against the grain just a little bit not all that far away but i think possibly the ssr the one that you summon for will be just traditional baby form here and then it'll tur into baby vegeta meaning baby vegeta would be the tur and the dokkan festival exclusive unit so i guess they can do something like that and that's what i'm hoping they would actually end up doing just because they have a little bit more you know diversity since you know the the uh, the youth form baby isn't really anything but an sr at this point in time right so uh, when you're also looking at the units and the availability of type advantages, it's pretty wide open, right? So if you're looking at Baby Vegeta, the SSR and the TUR for the LR Baby, right? So um, those aren't really huge options, right? They're not really playable options, uh, even the free-to-play one, right? So I'm really saying that uh, I don't think they're going to do another Dokkan Festival exclusive Extreme Strength. We have plenty of OP units there with uh, Cooler and with uh, with Bojack. We just got a strong physical unit and we have, you know, some int units here as well. So I'm going to go with Extreme Tech. We need Extreme Tech. Extreme Tech is still always light. Um, it's good to have more Extreme Tech units. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on here as the type advantages for Baby Vegeta or TUR Baby Vegeta, right? So if that's going to be the case, I'm also thinking that it's going to hopefully align with some of these units here where it's going to be a transformation unit. It's going to be a support uh, initially, and then you have an active skill to uh, see if you want to actually transform into, in this case, we're going to say Super Baby uh, 1 and, uh, and change up the dynamic of the unit. That's how I'm going to build this custom uh, speculative uh, design for the unit here and you know tell me what you guys think in the comment section below after you view what I'm gonna be um, you know predicting here right so so here's the extreme tech unit here I think and I hope actually, I shouldn't think because I have no clue but I hope the leader skill is GT bosses and in human deeds. Why? Because we don't have 170% leader for either category. Thus, the introduction of GT bosses was lackluster to say the least. Not, you know, you want to run certain GT bosses, but you're, you're you have a free-to-play unit that's going to be the leader, right? So that that doesn't work out very well. So this has to be GT bosses. Let's not create another category. We're at 75 categories, people. Right? On JP version of the game, there's 75. We don't need any more. Let's go ahead and sure up some of these other categories. Uh, Inhuman Deeds has been out for a long time, and it still doesn't have 170% lead. So I think both of these would make a thousand percent sense and would be making a strong team with Inhuman Deeds and GT bosses. So um, the super attack is Gatling Gun, since it is going to be a baby Vegeta here. 
We're going to say it's going to raise his attack and defense for three turns. I was thinking about should it stack, but nah, let's just keep it for three turns. So you'll kind of, you know, you know if you have additionals, you, you'll, you'll stack a little bit more, right? So things like that that you can start thinking about with this unit. And let's do causes uh, immense damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense. I always like lowers attack and defense both because, you know, lowering a defense, not all that useful, but attack very much so, right? So passive skill, we're going to call it combat vengeance. Uh, attack and defense 100%. It might not be strong initially, but if you look at the rest of the passive skill, I think it works out very well. We're going to reduce damage by 6% for each GT boss category ally up to 30%. So if you have five GT bosses on the team, you're going to get maxed out at 30%. So even though your defense is at 100%, but remember, you're going to get a super attack boost uh, for the defense for three turns as well. And the 30%, you're not going to take much damage in reality right plus you're gonna get additional boost here as you can see uh, on top of that I think I might have made this you know maybe a little bit too strong but anyway attacks effective against pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans category enemies so uh, th that's gonna be huge um, available to most you know events that you're gonna be running you're gonna probably fight a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans using an extreme uh, type um, uh, unit here so and then since this is going to be a support unit as well we're going to do in human deeds category allies key plus two attack and defense 20 percent. so a nice little boost there as well so uh can really come to think about it raises attack and defense for three turns on super attack i probably not needed that because of the support but hey you know what why not put it on there now this is going to be an active skill transformation and i just kind of thought about you know how, how can we make this a little bit different so i said let's do transforms can be activated after a character your character here can be attacked six times so after six attacks you can do the transformation or other allies get attacked 12 times so that's a little bit different and uh um you know just something to uh have a little bit of variety on so if you aren't gonna be tanking any attacks right away you can have uh, other people do the work for you but once either 12 attacks have been received from your uh, allies or six from you um, you can go ahead and transform we'll talk about the transformation in a second link skills uh, pretty basic here i was saying you know should we put fierce battle in here but you really want this unit to link up with lr baby and lr baby is a lr with shattering the limit so in this case scenario we just kept the sh uh, shattering limit here we kept thirst for conquest uh, metamorphosis um uh, uh hatred of saints things of that nature i did not put big bad bosses on here i should have put big bad bosses on here but um like I mentioned before, you know what? I should have done that. What, I, what was I thinking? Why did I put Nightmare on there? If I can edit this right now, just kind of looking at all the things, I'm going to change Nightmare into Big Bad Bosses, but uh, I can't do it right now. So anyway, categories. Categories are good, right? You look at all the categories that are on here, you have uh, quite a bit. You have uh, Transformation Boost, uh, Artificial Life Forms, uh, Terrifying Conquerors, Target Goku, Revenge, Inhuman Deeds, uh, Space Traveling Warriors, Corroded Body and Mind, and GT Bosses pretty solid there pretty solid there so if you look at the stats here i made him pretty strong as well Eighteen thousand for hp and attack and defense at 10 i think that right here would be a very very uh, highly valued unit um once again we, we I, I need to change the nightmare into big bad bosses but um, but besides that i think if this unit came out this way i think a lot of people would really really like the unit so uh, let's talk about the transformation once you transform of course this is once again using the um uh, the the format of cooler and bojack and all those guys there uh we're gonna drop the uh the support and then just make this unit ridiculously crazy strong when it comes to attack and there's a little bit of defensive mechanics here you lose the 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 defensive mitigation right so the the damage mitigation you do lose here some people might not be happy about it remember this is an active skill transformation you don't have to transform if you don't want to right so in this case scenario the super attack does change it doesn't increase defense but it greatly raises attack for one turn still lowers attack and defense here and then the passive skill is relentless revenge the attack and defense is 150 percent so 50 percent increase there now instead of the damage mitigation i said you know let's go ahead and change this to increase critical chance by 10 percent with each gt boss's category ally so this is up to 50 percent here 
and then attacks still effective against pure saints and hybrid saints category enemies. And then if you're in the first spot, and I've you know we've seen some of these units already, is depending on the spot that you're in, you're gonna get different types of boost. Uh, you're gonna get a 30% increase in the first attacking spot, and then a attack increase of 30% in the second or third. So you're gonna have to figure out where you want to um, actually provide your um, your spot here. So. When I'm looking at it now, I'm saying, okay, you know, you're losing quite a bit of defensive benefit, right? But hey, you you're you're gaining quite a bit of an attacking ability as well, right? You got greatly raises attack, you got 50% increase in attack, you got critical chance, and you get if you're in the second or third spot, an additional 30% on top of that. So I think that's really really strong and it should hit really really hard. Uh, in the transformation uh, side on here now i was thinking too is like well would this then because you have super baby 2 transform again i was like i don't want a multiple transformation i think one transformation with active skill is good enough um but let's go ahead and add maybe an active skill after the transformation so this is an active skill attack and using basically super baby 2 the revenge death ball here uh, all the stats are the same right so all what you see there is from super baby 1 but the active skill basically you transform or you turn into super baby 2 and you, you do it in revenge death ball and that's going to provide you a 30 percent to attack and then critical hit automatic critical hit and stuns pure saiyans and hybrid saiyans category enemies for one turn only i think that's really strong um and then to activate this you need to make sure you get hit one time so after you transform and then you get hit one time after transformation then you can go ahead and do this active skill so i think that's pretty fair right i think that's pretty fair and once again just kind of looking at everything here i think the only mistake that i did was not put big bad bosses on this uh on this unit here that's my fault that's my fault uh but uh besides that i think everything looks pretty good tell me what you guys think after watching this video how would you build the upcoming you know baby vegeta or baby unit however this is going to be here you know would you make it transformation would you just make it you know baby vegeta uh, or super baby one things of that nature uh yeah let me know in the comment section below but uh anyway if you are new to my channel like subscribe comment below do all that good stuff thank you all for watching keep on dokaning and we will catch you next time later